The fourth has been perverted by activists, Jew judges, and mud people apologists. The founders intended USA as a white homeland. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh shit. Well, what is what is this Mickey Mouse shit I see before me? <laughs> yeah, this well, yes, this is this is quite a teachable moment. All right, I, I'm learning lots. A, a yeah. Oh, this this escalated extremely. What does this have to do with the beans? Oh wait, should I start? Nah, nah. I'll, I'll start. actually. I don't know what Bean Dad's about. All right, I gotta I gotta read this. I want to learn what Bean Dad's about, so let's slow down. If you ventured onto Twitter during the first weekend of 2021, you were probably wondering why everyone is talking about beans. The answer is Bean Dad. He became Twitter's first main character of the year, the person who has such a bad take that people feel compelled to dunk on them. I don't know. There was a lot of bad ones. There was a lot of bad ones. Did you did you see did you see that dude who came out with like all the makeup shaming? Today, he like he posted like five pictures. He's like, y'all think this chick is so hot. Yeah, no makeup, not hot. I was like, okay, wow, well, nice. He got the 1992 memes in action. On Saturday evening, musician and podcaster John Roderick shared a tale about his hungry nine-year-old daughter wanting some baked beans. 23 tweets later, we got the full story. So yesterday, my daughter, who's nine, was hungry and I was doing a jigsaw puzzle. So I said over my shoulder, make some baked beans. She said, how? Like all kids do when they want you to do it. So I said, open a can and put it in a pot. She brought me the can and said, open it, how? So I said, how do you think this thing works? She studied it and applied it to the top of the can sideways. She struggled for a while and then with a big dramatic sigh said, will you please just open the can? Apocalypse dad was overjoyed. A teaching moment just dropped on my lap. Basically, the child wanted to have baked beans, where Derek said he saw this as a teaching moment. He wanted her to open the can himself, or herself. The daughter did not understand how a can opener worked because she's a nine-year-old. Where Derek wanted her to figure out how the can opener worked. Six hours later? What? Six hours later, the frustrated nine-year-old figured out how to open the can of beans with the can opener. It's story in the tone in which it was told on Freeated Twitter. She's nine, Apocalypse Dad. Six hours. Oh, and the top tweet is from Communist Siren. Nicely done, Communist Siren. All I'm hearing is that the time I told my dad I was hungry and he wouldn't let me eat for another six hours for no good reason. Like, did you ever go through that as a kid? You go too long and you're hungry and you just feel sick and might pass out? No? Then don't do it to the kid. Just open the can and give your child the beans, you psycho. <laughs> oh, wow. You're an asshole, dude. From one dad to another, the story is nothing to be proud of. You tell your daughter how little you care about her needs, and then you want to show her how much smarter you are than she is, feed her, then teach, then delete your account. Holy shit. Damn. Twitter be fierce. I mean, let's be honest, though. In, in the scheme of things, this seems a little odd that this was, like, public enemy number one. Like, like this person is getting more hatred today than Mitch McConnell, than Nancy Pelosi, than Jimmy Dore, than any of them. Yesterday, my daughter called me and told me she'd been taken by kidnappers. She asked if I used a particular set of squill skills acquired over a long career to get me back. Aha, uh -huh, I thought. A teachable moment. <laughs> okay, Jason, that one's good. Someday, Bean Dad is going to need help with technology or end-of-life care, and she will have her revenge. Ooh, yeah, you didn't think that one through, did you, Bean Dad? Like, what's going to happen when you're, like, receiving care and she's helping you out, and then you're all senile, and you're like, How do you open a can? And she's like, Oh, Daddy, teachable moment. Yes. Yeah, you won't, you won't understand the irony here. It's quite sad because, uh, and I, I don't think you remember this, but uh, you, you tortured me when I was a kid, so I too will do it to you now. I feel like it's super valuable to teach kids they're not alone in the world and that there's no shame in asking other people for help and support. Um, in my opinion, everyone should read the Bean Dad story and always do the exact opposite. Hey, I'll stick my neck out. This is written in the voice of John on his podcast for Derek on the line. He's telling his story in a heightened way and a tone that long-time listeners would recognize as both a joke and self-defacing. There's context that's completely lost. Yeah, I guess as someone who doesn't listen to his, his podcast, I'm a little lost. Extremely jealous and annoyed that my podcast co-host is going to be a dictionary entry and I never will. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Every day on Twitter, there's one main character. The goal is never to be it. Yep. This one is like an evergreen tweet, by the way. This was made in like 2019, I want to say. Oh, yeah, 2019. But this one is so true. So true. All right. Each day on Twitter, there's one main character and the goal is never to be that person. Wow. 105,000. Nicely done. All right, well, that's the legend of Bean Dad. It wasn't as wild as I thought. Oh, wait, hold up. Olive, that is not all of it? You missed the worst part of Bean Dad? Oh, my mistake. My apologies. This dude was the Twitter main character all along. We just weren't paying attention. The fourth has been perverted by activists, Jew judges, and mud people apologists. The founders intended USA as a white homeland.
Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh shit. Well, what is what is this Mickey Mouse shit I see before me? <laughs> yeah, this well, yes, this is this is quite a teachable moment. I right, I I'm learning lots. A hey, uh, yeah, oh this this escalated extremely What does this have to do with the beans? Your attempt at furry anime cuteness does not conceal your gauntly methy haggardous cyborg muppet transgender person? Oh no. Oh my. Okay, so um, let me let me try and put it, piece this one together. I'm guessing well, what we see here before us is that uh, John, good old John, got a little bit exposed today because of the bean story. So the bean story, obviously, that's that's why he was put on blast. But then someone did the Kyle Kalinske thing and went to go see what he used to say back in the day. Like this, that that's what that's that's what's happening here, right? He's he also did the theme song for MBM Bam. Wait, what what's MBM? What's Mim Bam? This is wow. So then people just dug up the old tweets and, and then they're like, holy shit. Yeah, well, uh, your co host is right. Your friend is definitely going to be in the encyclopedia now. Every time I use a word like gay or, oh God, some, oh God, oh God. Jews ruin everybody's fun. Who are you? Who is, who is this check mark? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no. My brother and my brother and me, big podcast. All right, let's listen. So this this went off the rails a lot faster than normal. I, I, I won't lie, I was not like physically prepared for this. My brother, my brother and me theme. Okay. Well, it's just years of tweets like this. There is so much more. This is from a thread that has even more screenshots, content warning, sexual assault, more slurs. I'm so gratified that the multiple conversations I'm having about the asshole Daniel Tosh are for the most part sane and civil. Bravo. Who is this person? I'm going to rape you the next time I see you. Bad rape, not funny rape? Wow. I mean, uh, this. I guess this is a blessing for Sargon of Akkad. Because now Sargon of Akkad, by... By comparison, doesn't seem nearly as as horrifying. So there's so there's that. Hello, Canada. Would you like me to rape you with my gun? Aren't aren't these threats? Like, isn't is isn't this a direct threat? <laughs> Homie loves turning up the rape stuff to like a thousand. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, we, we we knew about this one. Cue the cries of cancel culture about these being old tweets all the way back from when he was still old enough to know better. <laughs> Bean bad since 2021. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I guess this was a teachable moment at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, if you're like a Nazi, you you might want to purge that shit from the internet, lest uh, lest this come out. So, so there you go. <laughs> Gonna get, I'm gonna get dim cud, all right? I've already flown too close to the sun. If you search for the N-slur, the F-slur, and other racist, misogynistic, homophobic, anti-Semitic keywords in the tweets, there are a lot of results. Wow. So I feel really bad for his daughter now. Oh, oh, and well, uh, this story has uh, a happy ending, everybody. Uh, he's gone. He, uh, he deleted his entire Twitter account. So I guess, uh, yay? Uh, is that like a self canceling? Does is like that's that, that that's a happy ending, right? We we got a happy end. There's a happy ending to the story. Oh man! Wow, this was a long saga. Also, six hours for a can of beans. Like, hopefully, hopefully something else was gonna come along. Man, uh, this is not deleting your account doesn't save your career. By the way, like this, like the internet never forgets. That's the problem. 
As a student of Hitler, I'm not worried about Trump. I'm worried about Cruz. Post-Trump, Cruz is an AI and he's learning some sick shit. This is the first one I agree with. This, 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 this one's just right on the money. It's almost unfair. For reasons we're sure you're all aware of, we're getting started finding new music for Mabim Mabam. <laughs> You'll probably hear a new filler theme song on this week's episode. We're not sure what'll come after that, honestly, but we hope you'll stick around to find out. We appreciate John letting us use one of his songs as the theme for Mabim Mabam for nearly a decade, but his response to today's situation is emblematic of a pattern of behavior that is antithetical to the energy we try to bring to things we do, so it's time for us to move on. Yeah. Um... All right. So, uh, is 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 that like the new parlance? I'm not really up on my alt right slang for boomers, but is that what old boomer alt writers call themselves? Students of Hitler, as a student and lover of Hitler, I'm I'm quite well versed on his seminal works, uh, notably Mein Kampf. It's uh, it's great. Okay, well that was a weird uh, rabbit hole. Damn. I thought that was gonna start the show out with a little lightness, because I was like Bean Dad, Bean Dad. That just sounds funny. I just is it about beans? Is it about dads? Dads who love beans? Daddy beans? Is is it like some kind of pet name? Is it a sexual thing? Yeah, come on, daddy, get me them beans. I don't know, but uh, no, that's that's horrifying. Well, hey, one less Nazi on Twitter. All right, uh, we got that. Uh, everyone can can be happy. There's there's one less Nazi on Twitter. So 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 we did that. What lies around the corner? Never knowing who's going to kill you. Are you the next one to be murked? You never know if it's a friend or a foe. If you want to see the biggest names in bread tube and left twitch and butter thing and I don't know the fucking names anymore, come see Left Among Us. If you want us to advertise your channel or work, please go to wearesurfs.com and email us a 20 to 30 second ad and we'll take it on to the end of one of our videos to help promote your leftist channel or progressive something. Whatever you do. To our god, I'm Rast, Xander Corvus, and Schlatsky, we shall commit blood sacrifices in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, our lives are yours to command. To our lords, Jeffrey Lamb, Trevor R., Stephen, Hans Josephin, Poppy Nelson, Ryan Lubin, Jimothy K. Meeblebeeps Jr., we bow meekly for your pleasure. To our knights of the round table, Josh Mickelson, Dylan Byth, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, Political Puppy, Jimmy Big Nuts, Andreas Chitoro, Good Poon Hates Cops, That's Solid Poon Then, Dr. Zayas, Yopi, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Jack Darko, Thomas Barrington, Jay Fraser Cartwright, Goofalankius, Melissa Murphy, Nicholas Marks, Alexander Thaler, Ali Rada Jaffer, Alex Gauvin, Radical Maniac, we salute you.